Gonna do a video today on charging a car battery using this new battery charger I just bought. I don't do product placement, this just happens to be the charger I bought. Gonna check it out. It's a Motormaster um, model 011 2 2 uh, Read your instructions for it. And we're gonna charge the battery in this car while it's still in the vehicle. Just to show you how dead this battery is, I'm going to try to turn the engine over here. So you can see there, other than the fact that those indicator lights come on, which tells us there's a little sign of life, there's not even a click out of the solenoid, so it is dead. I'm standing at the front of the vehicle here. Want to make sure that you have your charger on a nice stable surface. And here's the battery we're going to charge. Negative post here, positive post with the red connection up there. For a vehicle that has a negative grounded system, the negative post grounded, which is just about every single vehicle out there, the instructions tell me to connect our positive clip from the charger first, and then it tells us to connect the negative clip. Negative black, black uh, cable connector there to the negative post. Negative post will have a minus sign. Positive post has the plus sign. And clean up those post if, posts if they're dirty too so, you, so that you get a good electrical connection there. Once the charger is connected to the battery, we're going to plug it in. And there's our sign of life. Charger is running. We have our switch over here set to conventional because it's a conventional battery. It's not a, uh, a marine battery or something which would be over this side. And I got it on the 10 amp charge not two. Obviously 10 amp, 10 amp is uh, going to charge faster. And here's our little charge indicator. At this point it's only been on about two minutes and we can see that it's uh, starting to charge up there pretty good. At this point the charger has been charging the battery for a little over an hour. Okay. We have the full charge light on, which according to the instructions for this unit is telling us that the battery is fully charged. So, again, as per our instructions, I'm going to kill the AC power to it. Disconnect it from the battery. Set the unit aside here. We'll find out. Now, while it charged, it was on for a total of about three hours. I had to turn it off later in the evening because I turned off the power out here to the outside. But I added, added it up roughly, the whole unit was on for about three hours. Let's test this. Well, our charger wasn't lying to us. That's quite a difference from last evening when I uh, tried to start the car and there was, as we recall, there wasn't even a click from the solenoid. So that uh, charger did a pretty good job.